The AMSET convention is held at the Marriott Hotel in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, my name is uh, Joe Spire. I am the uh, president of AMSAT, Amateur Radio in Space. That is my mission, that is my task uh, for you who are all members. Those of you who are not members, why not? Join us. He will be conducting the auction. We have about 50 items to go through. While it was once a t-shirt you could purchase at a symposium, its previous life has now included original AMSAT dust from both offices. It's a medium, I believe. It says M38 to 40. So that will fit nobody here. $15 going once, twice, three times sold. Star Trek Tribble, it's got its own cage included. Uh, guaranteed you don't have anything in cage. $800 for this AO92 removed before flight fan going once. $800 going twice. Sold. Woo! On Friday morning, students from the Pathfinder Regional Vocational Technical High School work Serena on the International Space Station. We were able to hear Serena answering their questions. Let's listen in. We're here with Steve and we're, we're hearing the space station. Sort of affects the body in many different ways. The first thing that happens when we get up on orbit is our bones and muscles start to break down almost immediately unless we try and counter that with two hours of exercise every day. That's probably the biggest thing that we see, so we actively try and prevent that breakdown every day that we are here on the space station. Over. In July, they've been heat transfer through a vacuum is very poor, so the ISS uses massive radiators that extend out from our truss, and we actively circulate ammonia through those radiators, and that is how we dissipate heat. Over. We use, often we use uh, a propulsion system up here is the progress vehicle, which we do have docked right now, and we use that for reboots. And the two propellants that we use are unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. Over. So we do have a 3D printer, but we have not used it yet to create any tools. Uh, we're kind of still in the age where we fly up multiple spare parts. So we, we don't have just one drill or one torque wrench. We have multiple, multiple parts, both on the American side and the Russian side, if we need them. But I agree, 3D printing is probably where we should be headed. Over. So the advice I give you guys is that the years after high school are going to start to move more quickly every year. You know, it's going to be astonishing at how fast it travels. And you may not be sure what field you want to go into, and it's okay to be unsure, and it's okay to change your mind. I majored in electrical engineering in my undergrad years and went pre-med halfway through. Now, I stuck with the engineering degree, but I never even considered pre-med when I first entered. Um, but, you know, with the help of family and friends, I decided that was the right thing for me. So just don't be afraid to change your mind. Over. So, yeah, Molly, we do generate enough electricity up here to uh, power everything on the ISS. It's mainly by the power of the sun and then these huge solar arrays. We power everything by massive power channels. We have eight major power channels. Kilo Charlie 4, Lima Echo, KC4LE. I'm from Echo Mary 6-3. We're in Huntsville, Alabama today. This is Echo Mary 6-4. Yeah, so we think about this all the time. We actually have big agencies down there in the United States that track hundreds of thousands of objects in low Earth orbit 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They can track objects that are very, very small. That being said, uh, if we need to, the ISS can perform a reboost to get out of the way of a debris collision. That's what we call a dam, a debris avoidance maneuver. But if something is small enough and gets past that system, um, then we can do a spacewalk to go outside and repair. And we've got special re repair materials for small holes. Over. This is an ICOM 910. We're running two meters up, two meters down. And then we're using the two meter portion of an arrow antenna. So that's why we only have one piece of coax connected. We'll use three elements. So. That should be uh, good enough. Hello, Serena. This is Kilo Kilo 5 Delta Oscar at the AMSAT Symposium in Huntsville, Alabama. On behalf of the AMSAT Board of Directors, I'd like to thank you for making this contact for us. Over. Yeah, absolutely, Huntsville, Alabama. It is good to hear everybody down there. I heard you were having a great meeting. We are. We've got a few people here that would like to say hello to you. 
And here's our first one. Go ahead, talk. NA1SS, this is Whiskey 4, Alpha Quebec Tango. I'm 12 years old, and what's it like in space? Over. I think I heard that question, uh, but I'm not sure. Say the question again. Uh, what's it like in space? Over. Space is the best thing in the world. I get to float to work, float to eat, float back to bed. It, it's nothing like it. Over. Anyone SS, this is Kilo Charlie 9, Zulu Juliet X ray. My name is Drew Reba, and I'm 14 years old. And I, and I was just wondering what project you guys are working on right now in the ISS. Over. Our projects right now, we've done everything from cancer chemotherapy, we're looking at sedimentation studies and how sediment is carried through rivers and oceans. Um, actually, doing some genetic sequencing up here, too. Over. NA1SS, Whiskey One, Echo Mike Echo Symposium. I heard Whiskey One, uh, Echo Mike Echo, I think, NA1SS. Roger, Roger. Yeah, this is called the Sky Tracker. I'll be talking about it at 1.30. And uh, it is a design to fly on a mylar party balloon. And these balloons cost $3. The tracker costs a little more than that. And it's uh, completely solar powered. It's super cap on the back. Trap has a whopping 25 milliwatts on the APRS frequency of 144.39. Just about What's perfect. the call sign? WB8ELK-4. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Now. Now. Okay. 1049 AM mark. Let's worry about down down draft. Yeah. And that's me over there. Oh, it's over. Three grams of free lift is not very much. There, there we go. go. What's the yeah. longest one of your balloons has operated? Uh, 75 days. 75 days. And it wow. went around the world six and a half times. Six and a half days. Yeah, you can fix. I can do that. Yeah. You're at 14439, right? Yeah. Affirmative. And Saturday night, AMSAT had their banquet underneath the mighty Saturn V rocket in the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. It was pretty neat to walk around and see all the bits and pieces of the rocket and lots of other displays in the room. The Saturn V F1 engines must have been really something when they were running. What a roar. Let's listen to a few words from Joe and Justin at the banquet. Enjoy the... Uh... The simulator over here, if you walk around, there's a lunar module exhibit. Around this way is the Apollo 16 command module. There is a moon rock from Apollo 12 that Alan Bean remembers picking up because it was his favorite rock. That, that goes back to the geologist in me that, uh, you know, I love, I love rocks. I have a lot of rocks, but I don't have a moon rock and I want one. I've done a lot of cool stuff, um, getting to JPL, going through CubeSat, all that stuff, I've seen a lot of rocket launches, um, so with that and my hobbies and things, I think it would just be kind of fun to go through kind of what I went through to get to where I am and, and uh, what I've been doing since I moved down to JPL.